Hello guys, Mr. Malaji TE as usual. Uh, in today's video, I want to elaborate further on uh, completing a, an amortization table. So in today's video, we will be uh, completing or dealing with an amortization table, right? So we know that an amortization table uh, means bringing to zero or uh, settling the amount of the loan in cash right so today we will be using a combination of absolute and relative cell references in formulas to complete the amortization table so what we have to know when completing the amortization table we must have the loan amount we must have the installment we must have the term of the loan and the term of the loan it means the period over which the loan will be repaid and you must have the interest that will be charged on the loan amount right so before we can proceed further in calculating or completing the amortization table please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification button below and will be notified of the new videos that I post okay in today's video as I have already explained we are dealing with amortization table let's go ahead and complete the amortization table so completing the amortization table we must have we must first calculate the installment that will be paid per year right and calculating the installment you know that you hit equal to because you calculate that with a PMT function so you select PMT okay our rate remember is the interest oh did a mistake uh, PMT okay and NP is the period over which the loan will be repaid and that is 20 years right negative our present value now is the loan amount right future value remember amortization means bringing to zero so our future value has to be zero then the type you just leave it then you click on ok then that is the installment that we will be repaying each and every year right so now let's go ahead and complete our amortization table using what the combination of absolute and relative cell references so okay cell reference firstly before we can uh, try to understand what is absolute and relative cell reference we have to understand what does cell reference mean in Microsoft Excel right cell reference it means that you don't have, you don't uh, put the amount manually like type in the amount like that no you just click on equal to then you select the cell number right or the cell name right because okay this is B9 right so the reference of this cell is B9 right so if you select on B9 you will get the amount that is B in P9 that is the cell reference right so we understood the cell reference now so the relative cell reference it just means that when using the relative cell reference you don't put the the dollar signs as in put the dollar sign in between those and put the dollar sign before the B right uh, but when using the absolute cell reference you put those why because we want you want the amount that you will be uh, duplicating there to repeat until the 20th year right but now using the relative cell reference you don't put those because the amount will not be repeating itself until the 20th year you just the, the absolute cell reference is you put the dollar sign in between of those you put the dollar sign before 
why because the amount will be repeating if the amount will be repeating itself until the 20th year but if not you just use this relative cell reference that is not putting uh, the dollar signs because the amount will be changing each and every year as in the case of this opening balance it will be changing because the opening balance is the closing balance of the last year right okay so now we'll be using the relative cell reference there we use the cell re say, uh, relative cell reference of b uh okay the opening balance is not b9 it's b7 then we click on enter this is the amount right the interest now our interest is equal to we use the relative cell reference there because the amount will be changing each and every year because of the closing balance right okay then multiply by the interest now here we use the absolute cell reference because the the interest percentage will not change from year to year right so now you can see that the interest is in months right so that means we have to calculate the interest that we will be getting each and every year yearly interest right so what we are going to do there is we have to put to 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 uh, reflect that in years because our amortization table is in years because those have to be cor in correspondence right then okay you select that you multiply by the interest the interest you put it in absolute reference because the interest does not change then you multiply by 12 so that the interest will be in years then this is the yearly interest then you go to installment payable our installment is this per year right so we use the absolute cell reference because we will be paying the amount that amount until the room is repaid so we use the absolute cell reference our closing balance is equal to if you use here we use the relative cell references because the amount will be changing closing balance will be changing each and every month then plus the interest minus the installment payable and we click on enter then the opening balance for the second year is the closing balance for the last year so it's equal to this column right there so the interest payable remember it's equal to that then you multiply by the interest and the interest percentage will not be changing so we use the absolute cell reference then you multiply by 12 right there our installment won't be changing so we use the absolute cell reference by putting the dollar signs then our losing balance is that remember plus the interest minus the installment there then you can highlight the second row now and copy until the last period so that tells us that there is a mistake somewhere
and okay yeah this e15 okay remember we have to get the amount of zero at the end right so let's go ahead and see where we have gone wrong here is e b7 that's correct b15 multiply by b11 and we fix that multiply by 12 that's correct then here is our installment our installment is wrong guys because remember we calculated the, in the installment using the interest we, we could we should have calculated that multiplied it by 12 why because uh, the interest here is in month and the installment is in years so they have to correspond so you click on ok so now you can see now that the balance at the end is now zero is now amortized then that's how you complete your amortization table using absolute cell references and relative cell references subscribe share and like